All right, welcome back to another video. Dan Slobodin, First Strike Athletics. Today we're gonna to talk about how to increase your punching speed. If you wanna get all the new tips, techniques, and tactics, make sure you jab that subscribe button, right across that notification button so you actually get the videos when they come out, and uppercut that like button if you like these videos, which I hope you do. I'm gonna show you a few things you can start using like today, like right now, or the next time you train anyhow, that you can start using right away to increase your punching speed, just things technique-wise. I'm also going to show you a few things you can do in the weight room to help increase your actual capacity to punch faster and hit faster and hit harder. Uh, and that's going to take a little bit more time. So first thing we're going to start doing off is just the technique. One of the most basic things that a lot of people forget about is to keep relaxed. If you have your hands inside your gloves and you're making fists and you're super tense all the time, you're going to slow down. It's going to eat up your cardio too. So I'm going to keep my hands a little bit more relaxed. I'm going to keep my body relaxed. I should always be moving around a little bit, not stiff, not having to overcome inertia. So if I'm just nice and relaxed and moving, everything's going to start flowing a little bit better from there. If I'm throwing a punch, let's say I'm throwing a, a, my jab, I need to extend my arm forward. So there's a few th other things going on. I need to extend my arm, which means I need to contract the muscle of my tricep, and that means this needs to stay relaxed my bicep. If I'm tense and my bicep is staying contracted, that's gonna slow my punch down, and it's also gonna eat up more cardio. It's like putting the brakes on. So everything should be nice and relaxed, and you should just be coming through here and making sure you accelerate at the end of your punch, okay? So staying relaxed, staying moving. If you're stiff here, it's gonna take more than you're going. If you're already moving around a little bit, it's much easier to snap off that jab. The next thing you want to keep in mind is the quickest distance between point A and point B is a straight line. So if I'm throwing my jab from here and I drop my hand first, it's going to take longer to get there. It's also more obvious what I'm doing. My opponent's going to see it, so it's going to be a harder land. But from dropping down, that takes one step and then two steps. As opposed to just here, where you snap it out nice and fast, it's going to be a lot faster, a lot more efficient, and it's going to be not quite as obvious, not quite as telegraphed. Another thing you can start doing is throwing with speed with the intention of landing more punches, not necessarily landing harder punches. So if I throw like a double jab, let's say, and I go here, right, that's all the way there, all the way back, as opposed to just going halfway back. Now you might say that first punch or the second punch doesn't do as much damage, but it's gonna set up the power punches. So I could throw four straight hard punches, like that. Those are gonna do more damage. My opponent's gonna be fine. If they land, they're gonna do more damage. But if I throw four fast ones, I don't bring them back all the way. I'm swinging them back halfway. I might not land any of those. If they do land, they might not do as much damage, but it's gonna set up the next power punch. So I'm doing fast ones, and I land a hard punch to the body or a kick or whatever it's gonna be. So what we wanna do is just not go quite as far back. We're gonna kinda cheat the range a little bit by keeping our hands closer. You're still going to go through. You still want to accelerate. You're still going to do a little bit of damage. You still want to keep your opponent on their toes and keeping those hands up. So you're not going to go like throw a weak punch. You're not just tapping like this. You're still going to throw a little bit of hump on them, a little bit of heat on them. But you're going to be able to throw a lot faster. You're going to be able to throw more punches uh, in a short amount of time. So staying relaxed, straight lines with your punches, and using volume over power. Those are three things you can start doing right now that will help you increase your overall punching speed. Uh, next, we're going to go to the weight room, and I'll show you some things you can start doing to increase your actual capacity to throw faster punches. So now we're in the weight room, and we're talking about peak power training in order to increase our speed of our punches and other movements as well, but we're going to kind of focus on punches today. So let me read from my sports book text here. Uh, Calculate peak power output for five repetitions of an exercise. In general, use a weight that represents 50 to 60% of the maximum weight lifted for one repetition. Time how long it takes to complete five reps. The lift should be done as rapidly as possible with good lifting technique. So what I want you to figure out my one rep max. I'm gonna be using a wall press with the uh, landmine. You can do it with bench press, you can do it with other things, overhead press, stuff like that. And I'm gonna time that. I wanna do five reps, I wanna do in under six seconds. Once I can do that, then I'm gonna increase the weight by about 10%. All right, so I'm gonna set up with my landmine. I'm gonna be doing wall presses. I know my max for this is about 140 pounds. I can do one rep with good form for 140 pounds. So 10% is gonna equal about 14 pounds. I'm gonna just round it up to 15 because it's easier to do. And so I'm gonna start up with about half of my one RM. So I would be roughly 75 pounds. I'm gonna do it for five reps. And if I can do it in under five, or if I can do it in five seconds or less than six seconds, then I can add some more weight. I'll go up about 15 pounds each time. 
Okay, so I'm set up with my, my weight. I'm using about 75 pounds, which is top of 150. I'm gonna do it for five reps. I'm using the wall press because it's the closest motion to throwing a punch. That's a natural weightlifting move, motion and not like some sort of weird hybrid bastardized punch thing. So it's pretty simple movement. I'm using the line for it. I'm just gonna put it to my shoulder. I'm gonna press it five times with the timer and go. So that was easy, I did that in five seconds, no problem. I'd rest about 30 seconds and do the other side. And this is just to test the weight that I need. Okay, so I can do five reps, no problem. That was pretty easy, so I'm gonna go up another 15 pounds. So I'm at 90 pounds now, that's roughly 60% of my max. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. Make sure when you're doing this that you're rested from the first set. You shouldn't be too tired, but you don't wanna do it like right away. Give yourselves a few seconds. And same thing. So that was six seconds. Just slightly over what I should be. I should be under six seconds. So now I figure out what my working weight is. I'm gonna use 75 pounds, so I wanna do it quickly with good form. I'm gonna do five reps in under six seconds. So my goal is five seconds. And I'll do that five sets. So I'll do each side five times, other side five times. That's one set. I'll do that five times total. Once I start feeling strong with that, then I'll increase the weight by about another 10%. percent i go back to 95, maybe in about three or four weeks from now, I'll test it again. If I can do it in under six seconds, then that will be my new weight for peak power performance. Now, just to be clear, there's lots of other ways to increase your speed, increase your strength, your explosive power, and speed can be defined in, in a few different ways. This is just one way that I don't see a lot of other videos or instruction on how to do it, so I figured I'd throw it out there and you guys can use it as you see fit in your programming. All right, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and you can click over here to subscribe and you can click over here to watch another video. See you guys in the next one.